I want to show you my new Ford F-150 XLT with the 2.7 liter EcoBoost. Color is uh, magnetic gray. It's a beautiful truck. Also uh, added the Lear 100 XR cap, which I think turned out really great. And then I also added a, uh, a B&W uh, adjustable hitch. It also stows, um, kind of tucks back in out of reach, keeps you from hitting your knees on it every time you walk around it. It's got a, a two-inch ball and then a smaller ball on the bottom. Uh, toes uh, 7,500 pounds on the two-inch ball. Really like it so far. I um, bought this truck for several reasons. Um, first, I owned two previous Fords, never had any problems. My last one was a 2010 model with a 3.5 liter EcoBoost. Ran great, loved it, would pull a house. Uh, I used to have a, about a 8,000 pound RV and it pulled it great. I didn't need the uh, towing capacity of that large, I still pull a boat. But uh, so, uh, my second reason I bought this truck was because of the gas mileage, or at least what they said the gas mileage was on this 2.7 liter EcoBoost and it's um, I'm really happy with what it's turned out to be. I'll talk a more, little bit more about that in a minute. And then uh, number three, I just like the truck. I uh, really like the uh, way it looks. I like the features. Um, and finally, just the price was great. This was stickered at uh, 41 thousand and change and I picked it up for um, about uh, 28 three I think was my, uh, my final uh, price uh, so it was a great deal it's one of those that you just can't give up uh, this is the uh, sport model and it came with this nice um, uh, console with the shifter I really like that it does have the uh, smaller screen uh, it's not as big obviously as the ones that come on the upgraded versions of the truck but it's still adequate and gives me a backup camera which i really like particularly with this cap on it the uh, backup camera is uh, really needed but uh, otherwise it's got uh, power uh, driver's seat uh, mine's the extended cab so it opens here um, i really wife really likes that because there's no bar here and it's easy just to put stuff in and out. It's got um, the seats fold up and give you a flat surface, which surface which is really nice. Uh, I won't have people back here very much, but it's got um, vents and uh, electrical plugs back here for um, anybody that's riding in the back. My daughter's already ridden back here once for just a short distance, and it worked out great. I added some. Um, front and rear mats in it and then I put a, a bed mat in the uh, in the back of the truck like I said I, one of the big reasons I bought this one was for a gas mileage we have a place out at Lake Fork it's about a 200 mile uh, trip out there and um, I don't want to be stuck with uh, like the Toyota that um, I think it's 13 city 19 highway um, you know driving 500 miles on each trip round trip and in and around miles um, this one actually um, I just finished um, over the Christmas break putting almost 900 miles on it uh, the 900 miles was uh, mostly highway but a lot of in and around at Lake Fork and visiting family and stuff and overall uh, on that trip it, it was 22 miles per gallon but the trip uh, the initial trip to Dallas um, when we were heading out uh, we took a little bit of a roundabout trip. I think I did like um, 250 miles getting up there and it got 25 miles per gallon on the way up. So um, I was really pleased with that. And, um, and what have I experienced so far in the city uh, when I'm just driving back and forth to work, which is all just uh, in and around city driving, it's been getting 19, maybe just a tad under. So I'm, I'm uh, really pleased with that gas mileage. I don't have any I've only pulled my, pulled my boat just a short distance in around in the lake so far, so I don't have any um, mileage figures yet 
on the uh, pull in the boat. Uh, so I'm sure it'll it'll drop dramatically pull in the boat, but that's okay. I expect that. I don't. I keep the boat up at the lake, and uh, I don't have to pull it very far. And then I've got a small tracker here that I pull back and forth to a lake that's close in, and so I don't have to pull it far. But uh, like I said, I've had it for uh, about a month and a half so far. Um, love the truck. Love the cap. I was thinking about getting a. Um, One of those, uh, uh, either the slide out for the uh, back of the bed or the deck system. But as you know, those things are pretty pricey. So I just put some uh, Plano, big Plano uh, foot locker type boxes, two of them in the back to kind of haul stuff I keep in the truck and to keep, um, to move fish and stuff back and forth to the lake. So again, uh, really, really love the truck. Haven't had any problems with it so far. I highly recommend this truck to anyone that's looking for the same kind of things I'm looking for. Thanks.